It's a Friends Thirsty Thursday on a Saturday night special. Yep. Special. And huh? different night. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we we did, had too much going on Thursday night. Got a new new puppy. Oh yeah. Yeah. But um, we um, we just, so we thought we'd do it tonight. Yep. It's kind of nasty outside and. Um, Got some beers that we need to get tried anyway from our um, friends from uh, fr uh, Friday Night Beer Tasting that they sent us. A, got a Halloween beer. Oh boy. For sure. Yeah. yeah. You mentioned it's nasty outside, it is, but we really need the rain. Yeah, we do. We need the rain. to see it, but it's but, kind of crisp fall day out there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, this music is by uh, uh, Leonard Skinner. Um, great band if you haven't heard of them or listened to them, um, kind of a 70s band, I'm sure. I don't think sure. everybody's heard of them. I don't know, there's some people out there in the closet now. Alright, um, let, me, let me get this stopped and uh, let's get it started. Okay. Um, I'm trying to, I don't Surprise really know. Me. Huh? Surprise me. Surprise you? I don't know what we're drinking tonight. Oh, you don't? No. Let me make sure. So well, we're doing four beers. You anyway, the Halloween um, this, yeah, I do have another Halloween beer, but right out of the gate, you're not going to like it. You might, it might be, it might not be even, neither one of us are big on crazy. It's an IPA. It's called Green Ghost hmm. by um, Spring, Springfield Brewing Company. Um, it's a, a Green Ghost IPA. <clears throat> Um, it's brewed and canned by Springfield Brewing Company, Springfield, Missouri. Um, it is 6.5 on the alcohol. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a lot of good IPAs are really high on the alcohol. Mm -hmm. But they um, leave something to be desired. Um, brewed and, with a citra and continent. <clears throat> con what does that say? That might help, the citra. Con centennial. Oh, centennial. That's an O. Woo. Um, centennial hops for an IPA that boosts a big punch of juicy citrus and pine notes. I didn't follow all that, but I, I got the citrus part. I thought you were just going to drink it out of the can there for a minute. <laughs> that kind of scares you. I think I'll just right. take that much. I mean, if you like an IPA, it's a pretty can. Mm -hmm. I mean, it smells. It smells. It like, smells like an IPA. Yeah. Cheers. Oh. Right. It's an IPA. It's, it's definitely it's, an IPA. I mean, it got, is just. Out of the gate, an IPA. Yeah. I just, I, and that aftertaste, it's almost like, you know what, you know what kind of reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of, Skunky get, beer. no, getting, this reminds me, of the aftertaste reminds me of getting a bite of a lime on the, you know, like the part you shouldn't eat. That's what it reminds me of. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Does that kind of remind you of that? Uh, I hadn't really thought of it that way, but it just... It's not a real tasty beer, in my opinion, but a lot of people love IPAs. I don't know. It's not, it's, I mean, it's really not, it's not got a bite, just no. kind of a funny taste on the backside. I mean, mm -hmm. it's like an IPA. Um, but it's a nice, clear beer. It's just too bad it's not more likable with that much high alcohol. <laughs> Um, and um, I've said this before, Springfield Brewing Company, um, they've got many beers um, to try at uh, the Springfield Brewing Company in Springfield, Missouri. There's, yeah. I can't, I mean, I say, I think in one video I said 20, but no, it's pretty close. I mean, there might even be more than that. I think they rotate them. I mean, 20 is probably good 
a good number for sure. one time. I mean, it's probably, you know, seasonal, mm -hmm. I'm sure. But for an IPA? Typical. Yeah, it's typical. It's not bad. I mean, it's just on that backside, that's what I... That's what I don't enjoy. Nope. But I didn't say that that wasn't going to be a winner. No. <laughs> we pretty much indicated that. All right. Are you going to put this back in the cooler? Well, yeah, well, <clears throat> somebody might drink it. It won't be me, but... Okay, um, this one's um, <clears throat> Against the Grain Oktoberfest German Style Lager. Hmm. Um, it's a pint. It, it's a pint. It always scares me when it's that much. Um, ATGBrewery.com. ATG Brewery. Um, Did Nancy and Steve send that? I think so. Uh, zig zack, zig zack. Whatever that, right? Zig zack. Zig zack. Zig zack. Zig zack. Zig zack. I don't know All what right. that means. I don't know what it means either. All right, it says nobody comes by or tween ATG and a party, and the partiest party of all parties is Oktoberfest. We borrow German-style engineering to make this crisp and multi-fest buyer, is that what it is? To fuel you. Beer, I think. Beer. Yeah. To fuel you and your... Closest 10,000 friends gathered under a tent for endless group hugs and group chugs. Hmm. Brewed and canned by Against the Grain Brewery in Louisville, Kentucky. All right. Spent a lot of time. I don't like all the wordy crap. No. I'm sorry. Get to the point. Yeah. What's it got in it? And well, it's got dark? some foam coming out of That's here. A, I saw, before the foam, I saw a dark color in there. Ugh. German style lager. We like lagers. Yeah. I mean, Germans right. know how to do beer. And I said if you pour straight out on the, like that, no tilt your glass, you won't get as much foam. No, that's but not true. Look how much of a liar they are. Look. I know. Did you pour sideways? A little bit. I have to go and review that. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm I'll be waiting a while before I can even. Cheers. Cheers. Well, anything would be better than that IPA. Yeah. No, okay. this is this is good. This is. It's almost got a caramel kind of. Yep. Done it. It's a lager. And. Uh, mm. Lager, and it's. Uh, lager lager. A little. It's not a light beer, but it's not bad. It's mm -hmm. not not too heavy. It's a nice color beer, caramel color, mm -hmm. and almost has like a multi color caramel yep. flavor. When I order one of these at the bar, mm -hmm. yeah, when I've ordered the one previously, mm. Mm. just maybe to try it, like say, hey, can I try that? Can you give me a sample? There's a place in Jeff City, uh, Last Flight, they went to. You I can. Have, I haven't been there. Well, I know. I went with my sisters. And you can, I don't know if every place is like this. I don't, I don't get out much, people. But I don't. They let us try whatever we wanted to try, and then do well, like. I do. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just am not familiar with some of those brewery little microbrewery places. But you know, I don't think Springfield Brewing Company. They probably would have. Actually, they. I take that back. When I went without you to, with Joey, our son, and uh, they let us try. Pretty good. Yep. So yeah, on a day like today, the temperature just changed drastically. Yesterday morning it was probably 75 maybe. And it, by lunch, by one o'clock, I think it was in the 50s. That's and now it's like right at 40.
right, not bad. It's kind of a cool little design, just a, it's actually, it's actually, you know, some, it's upside down. I just now noticed that. <laughs> it's upside down. See? Hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Um, I'm afraid I'm going to tip stuff over in here. And then I'm really going to be mad. All right. You said um, they s set up better than that one. I thought they did. All right. So this has got nothing to do with fall, I don't think, fall or Oktoberfest, but it's uh, one that I've saw that I thought looked really, I, sometimes I just like the, I know, <laughs> it's called moose drool. It's, it's like the can, I just kind of like the can. Um, it's a brown ale and it's 5% on the alcohol. It's Big Sky Brewing Company, Montana. Uh, it has to be Montana with a name like Big Sky. Big Sky. We make water fun. So, hmm. uh, it's a dark. Um, it's Missoula, Montana. Big Sky Brewing Company, Missoula, Montana. And it's a brown ale. Probably the darkest one we've had yet so far. Well, yeah. we ain't done. <laughs> uh, uh, cheers. Cheers. Doesn't really have a smell. Pretty smooth. Pretty smooth. Mm -hmm. Doesn't doesn't taste dark. Mm -mm. I mean. I, it definitely seems like it's got more caramel than the other one. Mm. Think? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Hmm. So, in honor of our first cold day, I made our uh, I made some. Um, old settler stew, stew which is I make I, I don't quite make it to, to the way the recipe calls for but it's like chili but it's got bacon in it and it's really good brown sugar brown sugar it's sugar good. it's delicious I mean I haven't had it this year yet but I can't wait yeah, to so try it it smells really good again you well, usually make it for deer camp mm -hmm. which around here it's the first day of youth deer season so this it's doesn't have much of a smell, but it's got a great flavor, great taste, um, pretty smooth. Um, I think our kids are finally answering us. Yeah, they finally woke up, maybe. Not bad. Not bad at all. So far, I forgot our, um, I f um, forgot our little... Bell again. Oops. Well, I mean, I remembered in the last video. Well, we've had, I need to post. I haven't done one of our videos that was 30 minutes long, which if I keep getting <clears throat> windy tonight, that one's going to be, this one's going to be long. But, um, yeah, it, uh, it was, I think I remembered on that one. I, I haven't posted it yet, but I did remember the bell on that one. Okay. Okay, the last one, don't get scared, because it's a stout. <laughs> it's All Hallows Treat Imperial Chocolate Peanut Butter Stout, 7.6 on the alcohol. It better be. Grains, <clears throat> grains, it says. Uh, empty kegs, rest in peace. Well, that's kind of fun. Um, Chocolate just doesn't belong in beer. So screamy. <laughs> uh, here for the here for the booze. <laughs> I think this is funny. You know, Halloween. It's just, I know booze. It's, yeah. it's Tuesday, but um, Connor, I don't know. 
I'm hoping for like something like a Reese's peanut butter cup flavor. I wonder, um, it's by Brewery, um, Arm, Omegang, 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 Omegang. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm probably butchering this, but it's a 1.7.6% on the alcohol, stout with natural flavors, uh, sweet and spooky like the perfect Halloween night. All Hallows Street rekindles your favorite childhood holiday memories, aromas and flavors of dark chocolate, creamy peanut butter, and a soft vanilla finish with a smooth body and medium medium mouthfeel. It's the perfect throwback that brings you to your first bite of a chocolate peanut butter cup. Uh, there you go. Yeah, I, I think I know what they're talking about when they say chocolate peanut butter cup. They probably just can't say that on there, I'm sure. And some people make their own chocolate peanut butter cups, you know. Wow, that's dark. Wow, but it's not, you look how much it moves in the glass. It's, <laughs> it moves quite a bit. It's not thick. They don't look that thick for an imperial stout. For an imperial well, stout. It's not stout. motor oil, folks. No. I mean, we've had them. No, we've had them to where they ran down. They didn't run the. They didn't run down the can at all. Mm. Cheers. Wow. That'll get you woke up. I definitely taste the chocolate. Oh, I can taste that vanilla right up front. Vanilla? Yeah. Like, think about vanilla. <laughs> I'm chocolate. I even closed my eyes to try to really? imagine vanilla. I'm getting chocolate. Oh. Heard a pop back there. Um, I don't know what that was. Maybe you need to grab a cracker. Maybe it's not as chocolatey as what you think. Need oh. some salt to combat that chocolate. Wow. Now, you, you definitely, with this one, would want to drink some or drink. You'd want to eat something salty, like popcorn. Yeah. Be one way to tolerate it. Wow. This kind of beer but it's not that high it's not as high on the alcohol some imperial stouts that i've had um they are extremely high like i we've had one yeah that one that yeti that was nine that was almost ten percent on the alcohol well one of them so we did a video with our friday night beer tasting called mega powers collide um, we did one that was thirteen percent imperial, yeah. imperial style. Um, Seven point six percent. I mean, that's that's high. I, yeah. Hmm. Ding 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 ding. <laughs> that would get my vote. <laughs> it's not getting mine. <laughs> you, you just need to keep We're an open mind. We're letting everything out of the bag now. It's not gonna. You're not gonna vote for it. No. Oh my gosh. Seriously? I mean, it might win out over one of them, but mm. it's not it's not my it's, best tasting beer today. All right. It's it has no it's smooth. It has no, no bite. What? It's not that much chocolate can't be smooth. It's mm. First of all, I don't know why you're trying to force a vote here on the last sip. We don't do it that way. I'm just saying, it's you're not even going to give it a chance. I tasted it. Right. I drank it. I have. Are you ready to vote? Are okay. you ready to run through anything? Or I well, can vote. all right. So between these two, between the this one we just had. And the IPA, the Green Ghost. These are two, to me, two Halloween beers. <clears throat> it's kind of a toss-up. <laughs> so I'll go with your, your pick on this one. 
Why? Because it's a toss. -up. Thank you. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. So the IPA is out, and this one's in. Okay. okay. Now. That's where it hits the fan. Between the drool and the grain. Wow, that's a tough one. The drool and the grain. Do you need to retry it? No, them? well. Let's try. All right. I mean, it, what's it going to hurt? We're only 20 minutes in. Okay, what are we retrying first? I'm trying the drool. Hmm? Yes, I... So this is the um, moose drool um, that we're trying. It's a brown ale. And it was um, six something on the alcohol, six percent. No, I'm sorry. Wait, does that say six percent? I can't read that. Five percent. Oh, okay. Dang, I'm still hoping for six. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Now we're trying the, and I'm going to kind of bring these back a little bit to show you exactly what we're, um, we're trying that, oh, I'm sorry, we're trying this one right now. Okay, oh, I guess I need some to try. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's almost like you've been trying too many. I would, I'm not sure, okay. Cheers. Both are good beers. They are good beers. Either one of them could be chocolate baby here. <laughs> Yes, that mm. one is mm. still in the running. I have hope for yeah. it. You you stacked the deck. You didn't want it to go up against one of these others until the final. I'm on your tricks. <laughs> we have to kind of, I think that's what Steve does. He stacks the deck. <laughs> is that right? You hear that, Steve? I don't know. This is a tough one. I actually, I was leaning towards that one. Now I'm not sure. This is pretty good. Just barely on the backside that has a little, but to me this is so smooth. That's, it's hard. I, I think I'll go with my initial. I'll, I'll go with the moose drool. Is that not the way you were leaning? No, it is. I'm going to go with that one. Yeah. I, For now. They're both good. <laughs> they're both good. I I really, I thought they I liked really that one a lot good. better. But now that I retaste this one, it's, that, it's pretty good. So, um, not sure that our friends Friday Night Beer Tasting has ever had the moose drool. Mm. No. Where'd you get it at? Um, I think I got this at Hy-Vee. No, I'm pr I'm pretty sure I did. You need to go back to Macdonald's so one of these days. These two came from our um, this one and this one came from um, Friday Night Brew Tasting from their stash. All right, so we're down to. So this one's out. <clears throat> But it, it's an exceptional beer. It is. So between this one and that one. Now, You're holding the hold on. You, you hold raised on. it up. Hold on. <laughs> I want you to think about how many votes I have given you and how many stouts don't make it this far. I and hold I on. don't get it, Big Dan. I'm going with this one. But how many votes have I sw mm -hmm. been swayed to not and you've many. not... Huh? Not many. No. You, how many votes have you been swayed to do what well, I, I like? A lot. 
Is that what you're getting at? It should be all about what... It should be all about what someone likes. Mm. And being, you know, there for them and helping them out and letting someone win. (laughs) (laughs) Uh-huh. You you like that one. I like that one. I, I think that should be our winner. I do. I don't like this oh, one. Oh, this one, it <clears throat> only thing I didn't, It I could taste the chocolate. I could taste the vanilla. I couldn't taste the peanut butter. It's really no, a good I beer. I couldn't taste the peanut butter. I can, I can, it's out. Now, <laughs> not, hold on. I'm trying to explain to people. So, this one is uh. an exceptional <clears throat> Imperial Stout. I just couldn't taste the peanut butter. So, anyway, our um, Moose Drool. That just doesn't even sound. I know. It sounds It sounds funky. But this Moose Drool Brown Ale from uh, Moose, uh, Missoula, Montana, uh, Big Sky Brewing Company. Ding, ding, ding is our winner. And um, I, I'm going to have... I guess I'll have our winning beer on camera. Do you want some? Sure. Uh, we'll have that going out. And um, uh, we're not quite 30 minutes, but uh, good deal. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on a Thursday, hopefully, next time.